August 24th, we're off to Vegas. We are at the airport. We flew out from Vancouver, left Courtney said bye, got to Calgary, and then we're gonna do a little transfer here, go through security, psych, we get pulled over by secondary screening because um, when they asked what are you do in Vegas, I was like, ah, oh, you know, I was trying to play it cool. I was like, ah, oh, a little bit of vacation, a little bit of work, and they're like, oh, work. And I was like, uh, so they pulled me into security, secondary screening and they held me there for an hour and they held me there for so long and I missed my flight before I could even explain. I, I, I'm just a YouTuber. I don't actually like, it's not actual work. And then they're like, oh, but then by the time we cleared it up, it was too late. And I was stuck in Calgary. Oh my dear Lord, Calgary of all places. And so I stayed at a hotel for a night and I flew out the next day and uh, I was late to poker out loud, but I made it. Here's the epic story of my, 48 hours in Vegas. Yo, Look who finally opened this town. It's like he had to cross an international border or something. Uh, Berkey told me we were playing 1-3, but everyone else decided on 5-5. Five, five. Hey, Kato, can I tell you a secret? Please do. Yeah. I'm scared, bro. I know. <laughs> when I forced you for things like this. six, <laughs> vlogger, <laughs> take one. So for y'all who don't know, Poker Out Loud is this thing where we all play poker together, but we all wear noise canceling headphones so we can talk and we talk our thoughts out loud, hence Poker Out Loud. So we did the thing, I was shooting the thing, I was playing, trying to do my best and trying to talk my process out loud. And that's when I realized, oh my God, I have no thought process when it comes to poker and I'm surrounded by sharks. Holy crap, what a time. But uh, we stayed afloat for a little while. Um, we had a little break. I got to hang out with all of them. It was super cool. Check it out. There's Daddy to Paula right there, uh, but let's check back in with in real time Greg. Okay, okay, we're punting. We are punting. That is what is happening. It was going good. I was in for a thousand, uh, worked my way up to like 1300 at one point, and then I exacerbated a cooler situation versus Poker Beast where I had Queen Nine and he had Ace Queen, and the board was uh. 10 jack king something something and then just he bet he bet huge in the river and then i was i overvalued my hand i should have just called but i re-raised all in lost my entire stack so we're back in again another thousand uh i've got 1100 ish right now and uh it should i'm, I'm glad i can bring some entertainment value to the solve for why <laughs> audience because uh, you're for sure not getting anything educational from me. End of the day, I'm super stuck. We're buried. We do a whole orbit of bomb pots. In the very last bomb pot, I stack that man's and I get unstuck. It was so epic. It was so good. Great job. Thank you so much. In for 2000. <laughs> Out for so 2075. Dreams come true. Yeah. Dreams come true, DJs. You just gotta hit. You just gotta hit. That's all you gotta do. What did you do? You just gotta hit. You, I just hit. Dreams come true. Dreams come true. You can be a donkey and you can make it. You, you can win the World Series. You can fly, kids. You can jump off the roof and you can fly. You, you can drive a car off a cliff and it'll take off like in the scene of a musical Grease. You, you, you can eat gravel and you won't pass out and die. You can do anything. Anything is possible. You can be a YouTuber. You can quit your full-time job and, 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 and make a living off YouTube. You can have a $70 profit after eight hours. Anything is possible. Just do it. I'm so excited to be roommates with Poker Beast for the next three days. What have been four? This past 24 hours, I've just been like, I'm so sad and I miss Courtney. And now I'm like, Courtney who? Courtney what? It's all about Kato now. Kato is the only C name in my life. $70 profit. Let's go burn it. Kato's taking me out a night on the town. Let's go. I got the video. The kind of person who loves a lot of stimulation. Oh, not, not like, not the wrong way. New York, New York on our left. Oh my god, that's the garage here. This is breathtaking. I cannot wait to show Courtney this place.
All right, y'all, I'm not gonna vlog this, but we just bought 300 chips to play 1-3. A little bit of 1-3, let's see how it goes. All in pre with kings, get called off by some donkey with queen 10 of hearts. Let's hold, let's go. Oh, Lord. Oh, no, 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 okay, okay. That was two hearts. Woo! I've never sat at a table, a table as short as I did there. Oh. Right. one great hand. A little profit of like, I don't know, 75 bucks, something like that. It was like 300 at one point, but then I punted with Queen 9 suited. Don't call Queen 9 suited out of position against three bats. Don't do it. And one of these days, we're gonna teach Greg what a rack is. Is that like the place next to Iran? I only have 20. What does that mean? Gamble your life savings away! <laughs> Good morning. I'm a little tired and hungover. Um, but now it's a new day. I feel great. I had a great night out with Kato. I'm headed over to Berkey's because he invited me to sit in on one of his academy classes. Um, so that should be interesting, like a real poker class with like 18 or so students. So I'm interested. Let's just see how that goes. All right, we've made it. So we start off the day with four hours of theory led by Berkey and his team. Super informative, very cool. He's got this great aesthetic. He's got these great wall art, inspirational quote by who other than Matt Berkey himself. Following the theory portion, we have a practice portion where we get to play for fake money and apply all the skills that we learned. And at my table is E, the guy who stacked Rampage. So it was kind of daunting, but I had a lot of fun. That was a great freaking experience. Shout out to Matt Berkey and everybody working at Salt for Y. Y'all have a great thing going. He's totally right. There is a huge demand and space for live poker classes and to be able to sit in one today was amazing and my only regret is that I can't stay for all three days. Like people came in from Texas, California, Turkey. People all over the world are coming for this class and I love the structure of it. You know, you do four hours of theory in the beginning of the day and then in the evening you get to actually play and apply the concepts. Thank you again for having me. It was amazing. I was a donkey, but it was amazing. Now we're going back to the hotel and we're gonna meet up with Kato and then we're gonna watch Cirque du Soleil. 7.16, show started at 7 p.m. Listen, maybe they held up the entire production for yeah, us. Yeah, don't they know who I am? I'm Rampage Poker, damn it! Stop vlogging, we're late! <laughs> you know, you use plastic. He's growing up so fast. <laughs> we got a special guest, Matt Vaughn, in the house. Can I just suck it or? One, two, three, and Greg, Greg goes, goes all in. in! That was good. That was really fucking good. Does it sound good? I think it sounded good. <laughs> they didn't invite me because I can't sing. Starting note. Greg! Greg. One, two, three, and Greg, Greg goes all in! Jazz? Why does hanging out with Greg goes all in feel like I'm constantly in a Broadway show? <laughs> oh my god, Ethan. Oh my god. Look at these guys. Guys, cannot wait to play with the Rampage Pokemon. <laughs> these are honestly, I'm, I'm telling you, these glasses are the best glasses you can wear at the poker table. It's just so fun. It's like so tilting when like you go all in and like there's just some dumbass staring at you with these sunglasses. But you have the best view as well. Like, and you can like stare, yeah, you can look around. It doesn't disrupt, it doesn't make anything darker. Sure, you're looking through a wall flyer, but... <laughs> can I have these? Wait, didn't you give... What? You want these? Yeah, can I have them? Don't you already have a pair at home? I have like four pairs at home. But I... You can't just stop at one! What time is it, Greg? The night is still young. It's 5 a.m. in the morning, Greg. It's only 4.42 a.m. Why Don't are we still exaggerate, playing poker, Greg? Because we're yeah. stuck, <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> one, two, three. Woo. 6 a.m. in the morning. I'm dying. We have a flight in three hours. Woo. I broke exactly even. I took his money. <laughs> He's up a few hundred bucks. Up one, no, no, not a few hundred. I'm up uh, 170, 170. Greg, why do you look tired? Because it's 6 a.m. in the morning. We had a great time in Vegas, but all good things have to come to an end. So we're going home now, off to the airport. We just spent three days together in Vegas. He showed me around, it's my first time. Okay, bye. <laughs> Greg goes all in. Jazz? <laughs>